patty fritta triconosana. When you are experienced with Uttita Trikonasana, there is a variation that requires more skill, strength, and technique. Parifrita indicates a torsion, a twist, usually spinal twist, in this case spinal twist. Pay attention that the approach is exactly the same. We do the exercise entirely from the hips, keeping upper body straight, not allowing the spine to bend. You often see people doing this with the feet spread very wide. That's not advisable. As you can see here, the feet are not spread that wide to accommodate the proper tilt and torsion of the hips. If you spread the feet too wide, the alignment falls apart. And it is impossible to do it correctly. The back will bend, the hips will not cooperate. Take a little rest, allow the energy to settle down. Here again you see that there's a misalignment based on hip width, promoting stability and also promoting proper use of the pelvis, which is allowed here to rotate and twist to accommodate a straight upper body. You can see that we jump in and out of poses where the feet are spread. That is the Iyengar style of going in and out of poses. If you feel resistance doing so, there's no need to do that. There's no obligation to spread the feet by jumping. Pay attention to the systematic build-up, spreading the feet and arms, then rotating, and then bending forward and twisting. When you are used to the pose, more familiar with the movement, then it becomes more intuitive. It becomes one fluent motion in the beginning for the sake of building up familiarity. It is good to have a certain pattern building up a pose in steps. Sticking to a pattern has the great benefit that it forces you to focus on what you do. It forces you to practice mindfulness. And that is after all what yoga is all about. Being connected with what you do.